No, Professor. The professor's going to tell you a little bit about the history of town. Oh, why, thank you, Mr. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, Townstown lies primarily on a bed of quartzite. I would say it's some of the oldest land in the world. A shelf of Silurian basalt crosses it with vestiges of Paleozoic limestone and some sandstone outcroppings, but that's all more recent. What's very interesting is that the soil... Professor, I'm not sure we have time for all this. How about we just uh, get into the good stuff? <laughs> well, Townstown is very unique in that the land that this town was built on was shared by dinosaurs. <laughs> Professor, I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> My favorite dinosaur is the Pelagosaurus, a tiny bipedal lizard with arms twice the length of yours or mine. Imagine that, a Velociraptor with long newly person arms. <laughs> On the tip of its nose, two rows of razor sharp teeth, and I cannot suffer how long these arms are! <laughs> well, but isn't the assistant, Rachel Dobbs? I'm sorry, who? <laughs> oh. I'm the assistant. What do you do for the professor, Rachel? Well, I assist. Uh, yes, she follows. Oh. Well, maybe you can clear up the truth about these uh, dinosaurs. I'm telling it to you, a species of dinosaur exclusive to Townstown with arms a light bulb all in alley. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, it sounds like this dinosaur has grown in size since you began to describe it. No, but its arms have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the professor is teaching me all sorts of things about extinction and, and asteroid collision. He said that even pretty soon. He's going to teach me how to grow parsnips. <laughs> yes, uh, we'll get to that. But in the meantime, Rachel, remember to stay vigilant and observant. Speaking of vigilance, you know where those fossils were found? In the soil! Thank you, which Professor. Is... <laughs> I want to tell you all a little something else about town right now. Right here on Main Street, we're very in time capsule.